guys i hope you're doing well i hope you amazing fantastic peaceful happy as you know uh from my previous video i am now in mombasa but i was just coming here for a day so tomorrow i'll be going back to nairobi but by the time you're seeing this video i'll be already back to, i'll be already back in nairobi so uh at least right now the sun is a bit down i can decide to not that i can decide i'm planning to get out because if i don't trust me i won't so i want to prepare myself i have a shot but i, I feel like if i had someone else like i'm going with um sorry something was uh, blocking the the screen um hmm, if i had someone that i'm going with to the beach i'll put on a shot but for now since i'm going alone i would rather be safe so i want to change up um do what uh i want to change up here and then just have a short stroll before i get lazy so i'm done dressing up i'm going to show you a video of my whole outfit when i completely finish i am using navia let me see uh, focus black and white invisible roll-on you know you don't want to be smelling all sweat with all this heat and you know the sweating because i'm already i don't know what's happening because right now i am feeling the heat but i'm just going to put on the ac so that i don't feel to to just cool me down anyways for my scent uh this is what i'll be putting on olympia parkour ban i don't know how you say raban i'm a raban for my scent and a little goes a long way if you feel if you put a lot you'll end up feeling as if you're choking with your own scent so that will do so what i'll be using for my hair so i'll just pour a few drops actually it's very light let me just show you this is how it looks on my palms but if you apply it on your hair it's actually too light which is good because at times you just don't want uh, your hair feeling too heavy the other thing since this video will be on a bit of some tips of what I do to get you know my healthy natural hair I'll tell you something right now you see right now the humid is taking up like my hair is sucking up some of the humid I expected this actually when I was coming but I do want to plant my hair and there's a huge difference compared to how it was when I came but anyways that is not to worry me I'll be using first the wide comb to brush through my hair and then later on I'll just try and smoothen it with this small comb so the next video I'll be showing you how I look so guys this is how I look this is my full outfit my palazzo pants my top a little bit of my bag so that I can put in some cash uh, my ID and my phone since I don't want to carry a big bag it's just a short walk I hope it's but I hope it's going to be fulfilling and then I will add my kimono on top just to protect me from the sunlight my hat bucket hat
but I have a feeling that I won't do this because I sweat too much. What I am um, debating on is the shoes to wear. It's either I wear these flip flops or my Jesus sandals. I love this, but I feel it might carry a lot of sand because of the inside texture. Plus the other thing, it's not far from where I'm staying, the beach. So I think I'll be putting on the flip flops. Plus they look so pretty. Just look at them. And I got this from Mr. Prizo. So guys, let's go now. hear me because of the you know the wind and all that but the other thing that I do is do like I put in less manipulation like on my hair I avoid too much of straining it if I'm honest like do you know this twist out using braids I've done it like maybe three or four times in my whole life I avoid tiny planting like if it's doing my hair doing like braids I have to use like I have to you know get them done like they are divided into wide wide portions so partitions I mean so that uh, it doesn't strain on like my ends on my hairline that is what I usually do. Honestly speaking, like if I say that I'm, I I wash my hair after two weeks, that would be a lie. I think I do it when I feel like, but I don't like uh, passing a month. Like I have to like wash my hair after a month, and in the process I have to treat it, use the most. Um, appropriate products for my hair that's what helps my hair growing so, so the other thing that you have to do is research on what works for you like example uh, for example I used Cantu but it was not giving me the right results that I want for my hair but you know for other people Cantu works for them and the product that I found uh, working on my hair I'll just post the, the 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 name of it somewhere along this on this video because I think I'm having a video <laughs> I can't remember the name also you have to make sure you treat your hair do protein treatments do hydration get trim and for the first time I did my trim this year and trust me I have always avoided uh, doing trims but this time when I did it I was like you know so so proud and happy with the result because it helps in reducing the tangling of the hair which the split end does to your hair and you, and you might end up like losing lots of your you know hair which was unavoidable which was avoidable so get to know what works for you guys uh for your hate 
it's a journey and for me like I've done um, pumped hair or relaxed hair and it didn't work for me that's why I transitioned to to natural and I'm going to show you what made me uh, transition I'm going to post a picture somewhere here of my hair when it was natural and I was able to see the length and by the time uh, I was comparing it to my relaxed hair that was like a go go for me like I have to trim down my relaxed hair but for, for now I'm happy with how far we've come and we'll see how far we go so let's enjoy this beach and get a bit of tanning <laughs> Thank you guys. I think for now I'm going to give you only those tips for my hair. And when I learn something new, you know, I'll make sure to inform you. Love you. So guys let me show you where I'm sleeping so this is the room it's actually so big there's enough space to even work out there's the AC over there and the fun and then there is a walking wardrobe like it's super huge there's enough room for you to to you know um dress up and then that's the huge bathroom so the place is pretty pretty amazing from Nairobi a bit and now we are back to the hustle and bustle of Nairobi but I'm just here to say thank you for watching my video and see you on the next one bye